All right, welcome everybody. Um, my name is Casey, and uh, I'm going to be showing you uh, the programming language AutoLisp, which controls the front end of the AutoCAD interface. And uh, in this video, I'm just going to give you some uh, short examples. So it's going to be a brief video, probably about 10, 15 minutes long. But what I want to show you is just some of the use case uh, behind AutoLisp and what you can do to uh, use the programming language as an automation process for uh, drafters in a, uh, in a production environment. So getting started here, what I want to show you first is just some of the uh, files that I put together so far. And, you know, it varies depending on what you're trying to do as far as use case. But uh, I've got code here that I've written. Um, for different scenarios, uh, just hypothetical scenarios that you may encounter, you know, that you may encounter in a um, production environment. So I just want to show you like some of the code here that I've got ready to go. Here's some more here, uh, dealing with like calculations and area, um, setting, you know, new layers, um, and all this is automated. So these are called Lisp files, and in order to get these going, uh, I go to the command prompt, and I'll type in upload. Now what this does is it brings you to um, the upload applications, so you can load and unload applications from the uh, front end of the user face here. And what I'm going to do is just load some of these um, load some of these files so that I now have some of the commands that I was looking at showing you here uh, bear with me I'm gonna I'll be right back I gotta pull in a, a couple drawings here so that I can use those as examples and show you how this uh, programming language will automate some of the processes so stay tuned I'll be right back okay we're back here and um, I just wanted to show you a couple things here before we move on to the next step, but uh, getting started, I'm going to show you uh, layers. So this is just one piece of code uh, that I loaded. So I got a layer here called title, title block, right? And if we go to the uh, commands that I created here, um, you'll see that I've got a function that I created under TB and that's the the command name right here that I created for it and I want to show you what that does so if I go over here I've already loaded the uh, list file for it but if I type in TB you're gonna see on my screen here it pops up TB now watch watch what happens up here in the layers property so we'll go back and I'm going to type in TB. Now watch watch up there in the layers property what happens when I hit enter. It switches the layer to title block automatically. Um, so that's just one little little thing I wanted to show you. Another thing that, that is very useful is um, automating the process of layers. So as part of um, like a layer standard for, for CAD management purposes. Let's say you've got a drawing with, um, you know, a whole slew of layers in here. Let's say you got like 150 layers, right? Well, let's let's pretend, you know, a hypothetical scenario that you've got to print off a drawing, and they only want a couple layers showing. Um, so normally, what you would have to do as a drafter is you would have to go in here, and you would have to freeze all these layers individually, okay, or freeze them from the viewport when you go to print off your drawings so that it only shows the specific layers that you're looking for. Um, in this case, just for this example, let's say you only wanted the uh, phantom line to show up in your drawings because it represents, you know, where where you're cutting an object or, you know, let's just say it's like a utility line on a civil drawing and that's all you want to show, right? Well, to, to go ahead and freeze all the layers, all you have to simply do is just, uh, for the case, for this example, I set up a uh, piece of code, 
and I'll go in and show you here it's uh, a function called PF and what it does is it freezes all the layers except for the phantom line okay and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here so if I go down here and I type in um, if I just type in PF and then I hit enter see it, it takes all the layers and it freezes them automatically for you so you don't have to go in here and single-handedly do that um, that's gonna save you quite a bit of time if you got a drawing with multiple layers involved um, another command I want to show you real quick is the uh, thaw so let's say you want to unthaw all those layers from being frozen well instead of having to go back through here to the layer properties and then you know click through each one of these and unthaw them uh, I've got a command for that as well so what I would do is I would just type in LTH which is the command that I created for layer thaw hit enter and your whole drawing comes back so I found I found that as a, a pretty good use case for CAD management especially when you're dealing with like a, a lot of layers on a drawing or something like that and you know for some of the, the the work that we would do in our environment you may not see that but you know it's very handy for other work that may you know that we may encounter down the road um, that requires you to freeze and unfreeze a whole bunch of layers so I found that pretty useful um, another piece that I want to show you here for audit purposes so if I if I scroll out here you see all these objects I brought in these are blocks of course but let's say for audit purposes um, we've got Excel spreadsheets right and we want to count up the amount of objects in a drawing let's say we've got data on a spreadsheet but we're not sure if that uh, if that data is correct so what we can do is run a, um, a parallel analysis basically to the data from the spreadsheet in Excel and we can we can see if that's in fact correct by just pulling up a drawing with uh, you know say whatever whatever drawing it is that we're trying to compare the data with uh, in this case we'll just go with this drawing let's say we got a spreadsheet and it's counting well, it's counting up like uh, three of these desks, right? Because that's that's what these blocks are, uh, just for this example. But let's say we want to make sure that that's correct. So all we do is just open up the drawing here, and I can do a command called count desks, which I created just for this example. We can modify the code uh, just just by changing the name of the object to match whatever we want so in this example I just hit count desks and it's gonna give me the amount of desks that are in this drawing um, so that I can run that information parallel to you know an audit on an Excel spreadsheet um, so those are just a few of the examples I want to show you real quick uh, we'll move on to the next portion that I want to show you which was dealing with uh, calculations and converting of units Okay, for this next portion, uh, I'm going to show you how to create, I've got a command here, a code that I created that will create layers for you at a much faster pace than using the layer properties. And then I want to show you some uh, unit conversions uh, from going like, you know, switching over from Fahrenheit to Celsius and acres to, um, you know, a different unit measurement. So uh, getting started here, I created a command called LM2. So I'll hit enter, and it's going to ask for a new layer name. So I could say utilities, enter, and then the new layer, which say blue, right? Or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me do that again. LM2, enter, new layer name, utilities, line type, so we would say like continuous, enter, and then blue for the color and we got a new layer called utilities as you can see up here that it created and just to show you I'll show you one more time um, so we'll go LM2 enter new layer uh, we'll just call it wheels enter line type we can go with dashed enter 
and then we'll go with the color green. Hit enter. And you got wheels up here. So it's just a, I guess, a little bit of a quicker way to create some layers if you wanted to, instead of using the layer properties. Um, the other thing I want to show you real quick was the uh, unit conversions. So I've got a command called uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I'll type in FAH2CEL. Hit enter. Now it's going to ask you for the Fahrenheit in degrees. So let's say it's uh, 89 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Hit enter. It's going to calculate it out for you down here uh, in Celsius automatically. So you can do the same with like feet and meters, uh, inches to feet, that sort of thing. Um, I'll do another one here from acres to heck, H E C. Hit enter. That's going to ask for the acres. So we could do like 150 acres. Hit enter. And it's going to give it to you in um, uh, hectares. So there's your unit conversions right there. Um, this, you know, obviously is going to save you some time because one of the use cases that I see for it, especially like in uh, civil drafting, is when you're doing unit conversions. A lot of people will go to Google, they'll type in, you know, a search and try to find a unit conversion uh, from the internet. You know, sometimes you don't know how accurate those are. So that's the reason for this, but those are just some of the use cases for it. And, um, you know, it's just the tip of the iceberg with this, this programming language. There's so much more that you can use and do with it. I'm still learning. So, you know, they, they say that the programming language itself takes to be fluent in it and really good. It's going to take you like probably two years at least, uh, to get comfortable with it. Um, so I'm still learning, and I just wanted to shoot this video and show you some of the use cases that can be used um, from like a CAD management standpoint uh, to help drafters increase productivity and and decrease the amount of time that it takes to do some of these little you know tasks here and there. Um, because if you can reduce the amount of time, obviously you're going to save yourself some some money and costs uh, later on down the road. Uh, so that's all I have for this video, and uh, with that being said, uh, you guys have a good day.